Previously, we traveled to the dwarf village called Makunik. And today, we will embark on an exploration of another part of Iran's rich cultural heritage, a village with a unique architecture called Sar Aga Side. We are headed to Sar Aga Side village, a hidden gem that offers a glimpse into the fascinating Persian culture and tradition. Join us as we uncover the secrets of this extraordinary village. Sar Agasayad is a village located in the Miankli Mogiai rural district of the central district of Kurang County in the Kaharmahal and Bakhtiari provinces of Iran. The village has a population primarily consisting of Luz, and it is known for its unique architecture and natural surroundings. Locals engage in various activities to sustain their livelihoods. Many of them are nomads, with some involved in farming. Additionally, the residents are skilled in producing local crafts such as carpets, kilims, and black tents. They also extract and process salt from the salt fountain. Agriculture is significant with the cultivation of natural plants and vegetables, some of which have medicinal properties. The village gets its name from the Akasaid Shrine, which holds religious significance. The architecture of Sar Aga Syed is remarkable with interconnected buildings constructed into the surrounding mountain. The roofs of the buildings serve as courtyards and streets for the buildings above. It is worth noting that most of the homes have no windows and only one door. Due to its architectural similarity, Sar Aga Syed is often referred to as the Mazula of Zagros. Mazula is another village in the Jilan province known for its distinctive architecture. However, Sar Aga Syed has a larger population and more houses. The village is surrounded by mountains, creating a picturesque setting. The village is inhabited by approximately 3,000 Bakhtiarian nomads, also known as Ashayur in Persian, who speak Luri. These nomads have been constructing the unique architecture around the Syed Isa Holy Shrine for about 600 years. Luz are an Iranian ethnic group primarily residing in the mountainous regions of western Iran. The four main branches of Luz are the Bakhtiari, Mamasani, Kogaluya, and La Proper, who are primarily connected through their common language, Luri. Lorstan province in Iran derives its name from the Luz indicating their historical presence in the region. However, Luz can also be found in other provinces of Iran, including Fars, Kaharmahal and Bakhtiari, Kogaluya and Boyer Ahmad, Khuzestan, Hamadan, Isfahan, Tehran, and Southern Ilam province. The Lurish language, also known as Luri, belongs to the southwestern branch of the Iranian language family. It shares some similarities with Persian, Farsi, but has distinct dialects within the Lurish-speaking regions. Luz have their own cultural traditions, clothing, music, and dances, which contribute to their unique identity within the larger Iranian cultural context. The first sighting of the word La is in the writings of some historians and geographers of the 10th century. Hamdala Mustafi in Tariqi Gozida, 1330 AD, 
referred to the settlement of Luri tribes in the Levant and then their mass migration towards the current Luri-inhabited areas. There are several hypotheses that discuss the origin of the name La or Lore. Prominent amongst them is its attribution to a person called La or Lorised and some believe that the name refers to the area of the first settlement of this ethnic group. The word Lur or Lyre, literally forest or forest mountain, is a probable source for this word. The first people who ruled areas of Luristan were the Elamites. The extent of the influence of the Elamites has been to the present Mamasani area. They were indigenous peoples of Iran, but there is no proper knowledge of how communities are formed and the beginning of their history. They were able to establish a state before the arrival of Aryan ethnic groups in parts of western Iran. The Elam government included Khuzestan, modern Luristan, Pashtku, Ilam province and some western Iraqi areas, Bakhtiari mountains, and southern Luri settlement. Babylonians called the land of Elamites Elam or Elamto, meaning the mountain and perhaps the land of sunrise. Elamite is generally accepted to be a language isolate and thus unrelated to the much later arriving Persian and Ironic languages. In relation to geographical and archaeological matching, historians argue that the Elamites are the Protolas, whose language became Iranian only in the Middle Age. Sar Aga Syed offers various attractions for tourists. While hiking in the area, visitors can explore the Salt Fountain, Cave Fountain, Astuna Waterfall, and encounter Bakhtarian nomads. This presents a unique opportunity to observe the lifestyle and work of nomadic communities. The village is also an excellent destination for climbing enthusiasts. Traditional clothing plays an important role in the local culture. Men typically wear kola, choga, and dabit, while women wear lachik, mena, and shalvergeri. These traditional costumes are particularly significant during wedding ceremonies. Dancing holds cultural importance in Sar Aga Syed, with congregational performances where people hold hands during the dance. This symbolic gesture represents unity, identity, kindness, and altruism among the villagers. The best time to visit Sar Aga Syed is during the summer, late spring, and early fall. During these seasons, the village experiences pleasant weather. In other seasons, heavy snowfall makes the village inaccessible, and some residents temporarily migrate to Esfahan province. Therefore, the village is less crowded during those times. Our journey into Sar Aga Side village has been a captivating experience, showcasing the rich Persian culture and traditions preserved by its inhabitants. We hope you've enjoyed this glimpse into their way of life and the extraordinary beauty of this hidden gem. If you want to experience a true adventure steeped in Persian heritage, Sar Aga Side Village is a must-visit destination. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more exciting journeys into diverse cultures around the world.
Until next time, fellow explorers. Keep discovering and embracing the wonders that our world has to offer. Safe travels. <laughs>